Hello friends! In this video I'm going to be reviewing this Fabralo brush pen for hand lettering. This brush pen tip is a little bit different. It's a little bit smaller but not so small like the Pentel Touch and it's also very bouncy and has a very crisp feel. So when I'm getting thick downstrokes I'm also able to come back up and get a really nice crisp fine upstroke. This is a somewhat newer brush pen to me but I have used it a decent amount of times. I think that I saw it used maybe on Instagram and when I saw it I immediately went to Amazon and bought it because I had a feeling that I would really like this brush pen. And as you can see it's just really bouncy so that's definitely one reason why I love this brush pen. I tend to say that this is a nice medium to maybe smaller-ish size brush pen, but as you can see with this lettering, it doesn't look much different from the medium to larger size brush pen lettering. But the difference is with this brush pen is that I think you can create some nice smaller sized bounce lettering. I know that's not always super easy with a larger brush pen because your letters tend to get really big and you can't fit a lot on the page, but I think that this brush pen just kind of lends itself to some bouncy lettering. I will leave a link in the description box below for the haul where I first got this because I think I did an example of some more bouncy lettering in that video. And I'm just going to go ahead and swatch the colors that I have here for you. There's a bit of a variety and as you can see they are not water resistant. And I'll also show you some blending methods with this brush pen. As with most of these smaller tipped brush pens I tend to like the second blending method better just because they don't hold on to quite a lot of ink but it's totally a personal preference you can do either. And if you'd like to learn more about how to hand letter, I will leave a link in the description box below for my free seven day mini course, or you can find that at howtohandletter.com slash mini course. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.